Hello and welcome to PW English. This is Chaitra, your botany teacher, and in today's session, we are going to be talking about this very important announcement that you're seeing behind me, and that is Ayush Admission Central Counseling Committee has started the registration process for round one, and this process has been started on 28th of August from 12 noon, and on 29th of August at 12 you will be seeing. uh choice filling will start so choice filling is going to be starting 29th of august and at 12 so i hope this is clear a provisional seat matrix is already released in the sense under ayurveda you have how many seats per college which will be under all india quota as you are aware all india quota is 15% and the rest 85% uh the seats are given to the state counseling committees right so this is what we need to be paying attention to so if you are interested in um, all india quota counseling then this is your chance register and start your choice filling now when you scroll over this page you will find round 1 online registration for ayush ug counseling just click on that and this particular page opens you just have to put your roll number the password and you have to basically register yourself i think this is quite easy now that you've done it multiple times i'm sure you are um, very much aware of it now if you want to look at the seat matrix in the sense which are the colleges that are participating and how many seats are present per college then you have a very well uh, designed seat matrix that has been released so let us say you are a candidate who's interested in bams that is ayurveda um or if you are a candidate who is interested in bhms which is homeopathy uh, unani siddha medicine it depends let me open the provisional seat matrix for um bams if you see here revised provisional ug seat matrix ayurveda government or government aided or cuni or deemed universities so here you are going to get the list of all the colleges and the colleges have been separated first you get a list of the government colleges then the government aided and so on so if you click on that a page like this would open revised provisional ug seat matrix ayurveda this is for bams so if you are a candidate looking for a seat for bhms accordingly click on that particular link and alphabet wise the states are arranged and under the state which have a college is listed that was also been mentioned first you have government colleges and then you have uh government aided uh colleges which have been given if you see here uh, they have been beautifully separated out so somewhere at around see here yeah 296 you have a government aided and then almost towards the and you have central universities or national institutes and last but not the least you have deemed universities i hope you know what deemed universities are deemed universities will always have a higher fees as compared to government or government aided or central universities or national institutes as we call them okay right deemed universities will always have a higher fees range to an extent that if you're paying somewhere about let's say 11000 per year in a government college you might end up paying somewhere about 3 lakh per year in a deemed university so normally when students are looking for seats deemed universities are the last one unless unless you can afford it and if you're looking for that kind of an infrastructure uh, we shall not deny that deemed universities being privatized will always have a better infrastructure right having said that government colleges will give you a very good patient exposure that is also very important when it comes to treating people right it could be mbbs or it could be any other parallel field of medicine that you are practicing with bams i've already told you that these ayush courses have recognition only in certain countries not everywhere so if you are somebody who seriously thinking about practicing um or you know participating or studying ayush medicine courses whatever it is under that then you have to also look into which are the countries which actually accept this form of treatment okay let's begin so like i said there are few 
colleges that are mentioned so what you can do depending upon your preferred state like which state you would want to you would be okay with according to that list you can see the colleges do a little bit of research by yourself however i'll help you a little bit uh, i cannot help you with the list of 50 colleges and all but i can help you with few of the best colleges so let's say maybe uh, top five or top six you can pick from here and i'll give you a rough idea of the closing rank as well so the first one comes my dear students is Banaras Hindu University located in Varanasi. The closing rank in the year 19, uh, 2023 was 27,823 rank. The fees is somewhere about 10,369 first year. This does not include your um, hostel fees and all, mess fees and all. This is just your tuition fees I would say. Okay. So, still somewhere about 11,000 you can cap it at. That is your first year fees. Then we have a deemed university. Dr. D. Y. Patel Vidya Peet Pune, 3,95,000 is the fees. Then you have Institute of Medical Sciences, IMS BHU Varanasi, 13,410 is the first year fees. Fourth one, Guru Gobind Singh Indraprasth University, located in New Delhi, 1,2,000 is the first year fees. And I'll give you another college, which is again D. Y. Patel uh, University, located in Navi Mumbai this time. 6,50,000 is the fees. So, I have give you, given you a kind of a list. What you can do, what you can do, depending upon the state. Suppose you are a candidate from, let us say, Delhi or UP or Tamil Nadu or Karnataka or Kerala. Depending upon that, you can opt for the preferred colleges. When you are opting for the preferred colleges, do a little bit of research of what is the patient inflow, right? And how is the infrastructure? Because the more the exposure you get, the better are the chances of learning. That is what some, you know, you need. So, having said that, all the best. And yeah, you can increase your choice filling as much as you want. But I would say cap it at, let's say, 15 or 20 colleges. And that should be enough. And I hope that you get the first college that you have put as your preference in this counseling. All the best.